Hello beautiful, wonderful, amazing people. It's Deja and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a few days since I have spoken to you guys um, or I have left a word out for you guys, but I still appreciate your guys' love and um, just your comments underneath my videos and stuff. I'm so grateful to the Lord that it's blessed you and I'm grateful to God um, for using me as a messenger of his word. So I wanted to go ahead and touch on what happened to me the other night quickly and share with you guys a really important message that I believe will help you today. A few days ago, some of you may or may not have seen that I had some issues with my car. Um, my car broke down on me. I took a road trip with my family up to Massachusetts to see one of my family members um, in his semifinals in basketball. And um, the trip was great. You know, I had a really great time seeing him and just sh um, showing up for him and being there. And I know that's what the Lord wanted me to do. And I actually really wanted to do that myself. Um, He's somebody that the Lord has had me pour into um, and has given me prophetic words to give to him and personally, which is great. And um, it's just really nice I was able to show up. So um, and also, you know, being able to leave my home state and go to travel to another state um, to see like just, you know, something different. And I was able to to see what Massachusetts was like, Boston specifically. And um, I was also able to go to a restaurant I've been really wanting to go to for a really long time, which is Raising Cane's. I don't know if you guys know about Raising Cane's. Um, my Massachusetts people, comment down below. Um, but Raising Cane's, I've always wanted to go there. I saw it go viral on like TikTok and YouTube and I've always wanted to try it. So that was one thing that was like on my bucket list that I've always wanted to try and I was able to do that. So I thought it was a really great trip. Now, the whole trip was great. Um, like I said, I saw my cousin, checked that off the list, got Raising Canes, checked that off the list. And probably like 13 miles or less outside of Boston, my car begins to start jerking and stalling on me. And I'm on the highway, in the middle of the highway, you guys. And I pull over to the side of the road and here it is like 9, almost 10 o'clock at night and my car breaks down on me. We wind up staying in a hotel, like a really cheap and expensive hotel. And um, because it was so late at night and my, I knew my car wasn't gonna make it. Um, so we stayed at a hotel and I was like, okay, tomorrow we're just gonna have to figure out what's going on and getting my car back up and running. Basically, you know, to make sure I can get my car back home. And um, yeah, it was, it was a really like a crazy experience because I wasn't expecting that. Um, personally, it felt like warfare um, because I know I didn't have the money and everything to be able to fix it. But I just remember like being in the hotel room that night and I was super anxious and I was stressed and I knew that it was an attack of the enemy because of the anxiety um, that kind of went along with um, the situation. It was more than what it needed to be. And I knew that it was of the enemy. And um, I know that to combat those things of the enemy, you're supposed to use scripture, you're supposed to pray and just move in faith. And I did the complete opposite of that. <laughs> I wasn't, I was praying, but I wasn't using scripture the way that I should to back up um, my faith in God. Because, you know, our, our faith, faith is um, hearing and hearing the word of God it says that so um, I wasn't doing that and I was anxious I was tossing and turning all night and I wasn't confident that the Lord was going to see me through this situation which that's not acting in faith you guys and that was a big no-no what I took away from that experience after really just sitting there and talking to Papa about it after the fact was um I was so focused on how I was going to get home and how that was going to happen for me, knowing that I didn't have any money. I was over a hundred miles from where I live and I just didn't know how it was going to happen. I just didn't know. <laughs> so it, 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 the funds weren't there and I didn't know how much it was going to cost for me to fix my car, at least enough to get back to my home state. But what I took away from that was I let the small parts, the unknown in those circumstances, the lack of faith that I had in that moment dictate 
how the whole trip was. Uh, so the trip that started off really good and was really good until the very end when I was leaving now became a bad trip in my mind. I remember looking at the back of the hotel door and seeing how it said Massachusetts on the door and it just made me so anxious like Lord why am I here why am I in a different state and I'm not home it just made me uncomfortable and I I couldn't understand it and it was just the unknown and the fact that I'm not where I thought I should be in that moment do you hear me it's not where I thought I should have been in that moment Now, the next morning, I woke up in Massachusetts, and the Lord spoke to my spirit, sojourner. And you guys have heard this word. If you're somebody who's very active on my channel, you've heard this word before. And we know that a sojourner is a temporary resident, right? Or somebody who is a foreigner in somebody else's land, right? And um one thing that was said about that was to make yourself when i i release a prophetic word i'll link it down make it i'll link it down below but it was basically saying to make yourself comfortable in foreign territory now we can find ourselves in many different situations many different territories whether it be physical another city another state um you know, a season in life, we can even be in the promised land and it might seem uncomfortable to us, right? We find ourselves in many different situations in life that are uncomfortable. The Israelites found themselves wanting to go back into the wilderness when the Lord had already delivered them from that because they felt like the journey ahead of them was uncomfortable. Little did they know the promise that the Lord had for them at the other side of that. I just want to encourage somebody today with this story that things may be uncomfortable where you're at right now in this very moment, a job, a living circumstance, a season that you're in. But the Lord is encouraging his people today to make the most of it, to make yourself at home. Because when you focus on the circumstance itself, it's taken away from what the Lord is trying to do in your life, what he's trying to show you, what he's trying to reveal to you. If I would have just embraced this moment, which is easier said than done for what it was, then I might have paid more attention to all the lights and all the different restaurants and all the different uh, scenery that was around me that I don't have here in my home state. Because the next day after everything was fixed and said and done, it made me want to look around. But I was so ready to just get back home and it took away from that experience. What the Lord wanted to teach me in that moment, which I should have learned it in that moment, was have faith. Even when the unknown happens, he was testing my faith. We've come so far together, me and God. He's seen me through so much. And for me to slip up and not have faith the way that I should, the way that he's trained and built up in me, we have to do better. We have to hold ourselves to a higher standard and know that, hold God to to the faithful God that he is. Judge him faithful. He's going to see us through these difficult times. He's going to see us through those little situations. So I'm encouraging my brothers and sisters in Christ today. If you're facing a situation or a moment in time that seems difficult, or you're still in that waiting period before the promised land, or maybe you're even still in the wilderness, operate in faith today. Let God lead. Sit at his feet and listen for what he's trying to tell you. He's going to get you through that situation. You can get you through that situation. And I don't know how confident you are with that. Or you can allow God to get you through it. All right. So I just wanted to leave you guys with that quick word. And my car, um, I do have it running right now. It was a $1,500 tune-up. And so that caused... um, 
it caused some issues so again if you guys feel led to sew and be a blessing to me my cash app paypal venmo is all down in the description box down below i would greatly appreciate your guys seeds if you decided to sew and i'm praying over every word um in the description box down below i also have my social media if you guys want to reach out to me via social media instagram and if you're not already subscribed to this youtube channel subscribe right now and make sure that your notifications are turned on and uh, make sure you like this video and leave a comment down below are you from massachusetts like i want to know if there, anybody here is from massachusetts have you ever tried raising canes are you in a place to where your um faith is being tested let me know down in the comments you guys i love to interact with you guys all right i love you all so much and you have a blessed day